Hello everyone, I am Saitis and welcome back to my channel Saitik Korean. Today's will try to show you how to do the screen mirroring and the screen casting from the IQ7 to the Android Smart TV. So these are really interesting uh, thing friends which is present in this fun OS so which is really fun to use. So the reason why I am saying will be really interesting so try to watch till end of the video to get to know amazing features which you got in built in this uh, screen casting and the screen mirroring options. So this is the exact model I am trying to use which is the IQ7 device and let me try to show you friends the options where you can find for the screen casting and the screen mirroring so you need to go to the bluetooth and device connection so once you are in there you'll be seeing this kind of smart mirroring as you can see so this is the first time i'm seeing this many options in the screen mirror features definitely friends in plenty of other uis there will be only one option which is a cast screen that's it but in this ui you are getting three extra options which is a video image and the music so which are really interesting to uh, try i'll try to use those uh, features and i'll try to explain you how to connect to tv and everything so make sure to watch till end of the video to get to know how to connect and what are the tips and tricks i can give you for in this complete uh, screen mirroring test and even i'll try to do a little, little bit kind of gaming test as well and you watching the youtube videos as well so we'll try to see how is the latency between the phone and the tv so that is what uh, my entire motive of doing this kind of video so try to watch till end of the video friends as you can see friends right now i'm using the iq7 device and uh, the wi-fi which i connected to the tv and the mobile phone is kind of same wi-fi network at this moment as you can see the same wi-fi network both should be connected to uh, to the screen casting and the screen mirroring so now you need to go to the bluetooth and the device connections so then just tap on the screen uh, smart mirroring option so there you will be getting four different different options so first is the screen casting and next you will be getting the video video mirroring and uh, image mirroring and audio music as well as you can see so many plenty of options you got here right now with this kind of uh, ui so which is really good so remaining when you compare with the mi ui and oneplus uis and samsung i didn't see this this many options present in this screen mirroring option so where you can individually select what type of file you want to mirror that's a really very very advanced uh, setting we got and the final option is the screencast option which we got here as you can see i'll try to use one by one and i'll try to show you as well so one thing is that you can even preview before uh, casting and if you tap on that uh, video it should be able to come on the display but right now uh, i'm using the screen recording video file but which is not playable in the in my smart tv i think as you can see friends right now i think it's showing some kind of message saying that tv is unable to play the content so maybe this there should be some kind of another application i think so in the tv but i'll try to test those in case if you are uh, requested so here is the image mirroring as you can see friends so you can even put the slideshow you can even put the slideshow and you can even leave the phone aside the images will be changing automatically with the slideshow that's a really good advantage uh, which you got right now so if you notice that pop up which you got side that is a slideshow which is going on you can pass and play even the music file as well and finally here is the screen casting and screen mirroring so now i can uh, mirror my phone display directly to the tv as you can see friends the reason why i'm using this waves wallpaper is because you will be able to see the transformation of its happening you can see friends there's a lot of lag is going on i know definitely the gaming is not possible by using this kind of mode in in this kind of screen casting mode so definitely in case if you want me to do the gaming so make sure to comment below i'll definitely do my best to post a video on that gaming as well very soon in case if you are interested so right now as you can see friends i did try to open the call of duty game it, it looks really good opening in that big tv from the small phone that's a really good but still the game will not be that smooth as expected you can see the graphics little bit kind of getting distracted as well on this phone as you can see friends clearly so i'll try to play the youtube demo video as well so we'll be able to get to know how is the videos are playing at least at least a video if the if the videos play properly then that should not be any kind of problem so let's see friends what will happen with the videos so overall it's kind of not that smooth but definitely a little bit kind of lag and there is a control center where you can control the slide uh, show which i talk talked about as you can see so that will go on automatically friends so i um, i did lock my phone iq7 device at this point as you can see and it's going on continuously so it will select all my gallery images and all those images which are taken in the iq7 device only all that uh, slide show which is going on as you can see friends clearly the slide show and now i am trying to play the youtube video so let me try to play this epic biggest android benchmark test which i did in my channel recently make sure to check that epic comparison 
so here's a video friends which is playing on the tv and you can see the lag and uh, shutter is going on so totally friends it's not that smooth while watching videos in the tv using the screencast method definitely this, this is not a good idea but having this many options is really very very beneficial in this phone which i particularly enjoy in this ui i'll try to do the soon top 10 tips and tricks in this ui as well very very soon so stay tuned for those in-depth videos So now you got a clear idea after uh, watching this complete tutorial how to set up and after watching some kind of samples as well. So we got to know one thing is that uh, the latency is uh, slightly more and you won't be able to play games and you won't be able to even watch videos as well because there's huge uh, delays there from the phone to the TV. So that is the one small uh, problem, but you will be able to uh, mirror the images without any problem and even the music as well. But only the drawback is that video and the live uh, screen uh, sharing is not not that fluent as possible that is only one minor uh, drawback which is there right now in this mobile phone so thank you for watching this video friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button in case if you love my contents and all this kind of videos on this smartphone so make sure to comment below in case if you want me to do any other uh, video on this particular phone so definitely i'll do my best to post the video as soon as possible for you all so thank you for watching this video friends and see you in the next video until then bye